but we've woke up to a stunning sunny day it, well i say we've woke up it's literally like half past 12. maybe i'll put a face on and come back nah fuck it i hope you all had a lovely new year i ended up going to my brother's girlfriend's flat very last minute for the bills and it was just like me and my brothers and their girlfriends and we just hung out for the bills which was nice. I'm just gonna put some makeup on and yeah, then we'll head. I've got myself ready. We had a cheese board for lunch, which was unreal. You know when you just wake up and like, that's what you're after. Like I was just after we camembert. Oh, I love that stuff so much, it's so good. Just after that and then I went downstairs, mum was making it and I was like, yes, what a great start to the year. Um, yeah, but me and mum are just going down to Sainsbury's, it feels so weird vlogging, I'm so not used to it anymore. Oh, there, there I am getting beckoned. So we're going to Sainsbury's, but I'm going to leave the camera here because it needs to charge up and catch up with you when I'm home. Maybe do a Sainsbury's haul, depending on what I buy. So everyone always asks me like what I eat. So we did the food shop there. Mum and Dad are going away for the start of the week, so we're cooking like, well, me and Harris are cooking for ourselves. So I thought I would just show you what I got. So, got a baguette. This is for lunch today. Tuna mayo baguette. Stunning. Got some tuna, obviously, to go with the baguette. And then I got some stir fry stuff. I feel like a stir fry is like a staple in my dinner, in my weekly dinners. So I got stir fry, and I usually have that with fish. So I got some salmon to try this week. I've tried salmon before. I actually think I've tried this exact salmon before. And like I wasn't too fussed on it, but I thought I'd give it another shot. I'm gonna try cooking it in the oven this time instead of like on the frying pan. So we're gonna try this this week and see what I think about it. Usually I have cod or, what's that other fish called that we have? Tilapia or something like that. Tilapia, you can buy them in Costco, but we usually have them in the freezer. So usually I have that. And then I got some courgettes and some sweet potatoes because I'm gonna roast these. I just like having them in the fridge to like bulk out dinners. For dinner tonight I'm going to have a falafel wrap with halloumi and I'm going to make some like homemade coleslaw and have that with it and like hummus. I think it will be banging. I got this hummus from get it in like Waitrose and Sainsbury's and stuff but it's so good. It's a one, a one time I actually ate a full tub of this. Like I ate a full tub in one go of this hummus. It's so nice. And then I got a couple of these like protein yogurts. I just like to have these for, see if I'm going to work, I just shove one of them in my bag and it kind of keeps me going. And then I got these wraps to try with my falafel. They were nan wraps. I thought we'd give them a go. They would be quite nice. Um, and then basically the other day I was talking, oh, I also got some, got some avocados. I think these are for mum, but I just, I might steal one anyway. And then the other day I was talking, I used to always make these like green smoothies. Like I literally went through a phase where I had green smoothies like every single day. And I was talking about them and I was like, they were actually quite banging. So I got the stuff to make them this week for my breakfast. So it's basically like, it's not even a green smoothie. I just put so much spinach in it and that's what makes it green. So I got spinach and some apples, some little, what even are these? I don't know if they're oranges or whatever. I literally don't like oranges unless they're in a smoothie. And some frozen pineapple chunks. So good. And then I got two oat almond oat milks. These are so good. They froth up so nice in, your, in my wee milk frother. I also got a water bottle because beside my bed I have like a Kirkland 
bottle that I just fill up every night. So I thought this would be a bit nicer. It's like a glass bottle as well. And I think that is everything. Quite a lot of food here, but it's a lot of like good food. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna roast up my veggies. You know those bad like Vogue beauty secrets and it's like the girl when she stands in front of her camera she films like her skincare routine and that. I really wanted to do one of them so I feel like I'm just going to walk you through my skincare routine and we'll make it like a Vogue-esque tutorial. Not tutorial because my skincare routine's a shambles but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let me get all my, let me get my products out for me. This is real boredom has hit here right now. I had such a bad breakout last month in my skin um, and it's actually looking like really nice, really glowy. To be fair, I've been drinking like more water than I usually do as well, so that's probably adding to it. But I do, I've been doing like a double cleanse every night, so I've been using the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This basically, I used to work for a Clinique, so I'm like, I feel like I have your no everything about the stuff so this basically like when you rub it into your hands it turns into an oil and then you put it on your skin and it just like melts the makeup away it's honestly so good i see a lot of people talking about the elemis cleansing balm but i feel like this one was about before that and i don't know i just it's one of those ones where like i just always have it in the cupboard and then I always just keep a stack of these little cloths and like once I've used them once I'll literally just like shove them in the washing. Got this as a Christmas present, it's the Elmis Superfood HA Glow Cleansing Butter and I think this is what's making my skin look like so glowy. Honestly, skincare for me, like I've worked on a skincare counter for like near, near enough three years but like skincare for me is like never really, like I was always so much more into makeup and it's only maybe like recently that I've actually started like wearing a lot less makeup so I obviously want to take care of my skin and I kind of set myself like a resolution to, sorry I'm just shredding this off. Yeah, I kind of set myself a resolution to take better care of my skin just because like Obviously if you have nicer skin like you need to wear less makeup and stuff like that so I just like all my life I've literally never ever ever walked out the house without makeup on. It's been a very rare occasion that I've done something like that like I'm just not confident enough to walk out the house with like no no makeup on. Recently I've been putting like a mist on my face. I feel like I saw like a YouTuber doing this once and I'm like now nah, I'm just like I'm gonna do it so so I just put that on and let it like sink in a little bit before I put any of my products on. This is the Fitman E one from Superdrug. I either go between this one or I don't even know if I've got a bottle of the Evian one. Yeah, not the Evian one, but like this stuff here. It's Avini Thermal Spring Water. This stuff is so good as well. I love this stuff. It's like is this like ten pound for literally a bottle of water? But I just love it. I literally love it. I used to before nights out with this. I used to spray my face with this until my face was like soaking wet, and then I would blow dry it with the hair dryer and like see it on a full face of makeup. Like everything just sunk into your skin so nice, and your skin just looked like so nice and like not cakey. And oh, I love this stuff. And then like see when you're somebody that I'm really trying to sell this product. Um. When I'm sunbathing, just having this sitting beside you and you just spray your face, so good. Then, to everyone's shock, eat Jeffrey if you're watching this, I have been using Clinique Moisture Surge on my skin. 
I never really took to this like it was always so hyped up when I worked on the counters and I never ever took to it. I don't know why, I just felt like it didn't work on my skin but I've been using it the past couple of nights and I've actually been enjoying it. I honestly think I like it because I put the water stuff like underneath it so it just sinks in like really nice on my skin. Um, whereas before like I've always used like a thicker like a cream moisturiser at night time but now I've been using this is just Carmex is all that I'm putting on last thing I'm going to do is take some of this Tanologist uh, day glow and put this on my skin just to give it a nice wee I thought you were meant to use this in the morning but now one of the times I remember I put the panel it just dropped on my face and then I got to my bed and I was working early in the morning and I didn't wash my face before work and the, I feel like the drops were just like kept developing during work because I had my mask on so obviously it was like quite like condensation-y and my skin I was so orange like I had to pure scrub my skin when I came home I actually really like these day glow drops, they're so nice, they just give your skin such a nice glow to it. Honestly, like, I feel like I'm really happy with my skin. Do you know what I also think as well? See, like, every so often if your skin has a bad breakout, like, you really appreciate your skin. So, like, obviously, like, I had such a bad breakout with my skin last month, and now, like, I really, really appreciate when my skin is, like, nice and, like, good and not, like, not broke out been reading this book, it's called Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and it's really good. I'm like halfway through it, if, if you're on TikTok you've probably seen it all over TikTok but I'm like halfway through it which I'm buzzing about because one of my goals for 2022 was to read more books and I'm doing it so yeah that's the plan for the rest of the night and I will catch up with you in the morning. thought I would just come and end this vlog off. Then I actually realised how long this vlog was going to be. Do you know how like that way where you've, I've just been filming like random clips over the past like week or so and then when I went to edit it's actually like 12 minutes but if you've made it to the end well done. Um, I did make it a resolution that I was going to post more like not like random vlogs but just not stress myself out so much about vlogs and just make them more like chatty and things I actually like to watch like Obviously doing the food shop doesn't appeal to a lot of people but I don't know why I just, I just like watching stuff like that. Like I feel like it's because I'm nosy that I just like watching stuff like that. But yeah, there will be another vlog coming after this. Like I've literally started filming it already so there will be another vlog coming soon. And let me know if you like the kind of more chatty like just like day to day life vlogs. And I'll like obviously film some more of them and if not then I'll go back to filming like my kind of like nicer like picturesque vlogs but I thought I would just try something new for the new year. I hope you've all had a lovely wee start to 2022 and yeah I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!